What's up, you two? Got a Freezer D8. Not below zero, so let's check up. All right, look like all our fans run. Check back side of the cool. Backside of coals are clear. So fans running. Backside of uh, coals are clear. Probably need to check my side panels. But anyway, let's get to the rack. All right, guys. This is like the cleanest motor room. It's R22. Anyway, we're looking at D rack. This thing even running? So what I like to do, I like to make sure my compressor's running. I like to check my receiver level. Got a ball floating. It's still kind of cold right here. Might need to check the uh, pressure difference on here, but anyway. Anyway, it's only calling for three compressors. Betting them strainers probably stocked up. We'll see though. Uh, so it's D8. Still pretty cold. Running. Running, make sure they ain't running. So everything operating. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think that's enough liquid going to them cases. Especially for R22, it should be like around 200. Should be higher than that. But like I said, when I went over here, so it's kind of, kind of feel cold. Well, I just gotta check the pressures and stuff. I don't wanna get thrown off. Kinda of feel cold right here though. But wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, so yeah, we I think we got a pressure difference right here. That's from the receiver tank going to the cases. It feel cold right here compared to down here. Uh, hmm. I mean, I know it got a sub cool on here. The liquid gonna be cool. Let me just verify my pressures right quick. Don't want to jump the gun. But that is coming from the receiver tank. This is coming from. Let me get back with y'all in a bit. Let me locate something. All right, guys. So I decided to go in and check in the evaporator cool. As you can see, we do got pressure drop at the TSV. So more likely these uh, TSV screens are uh, clogged up and uh, I need to verify my pressure at uh, the rack across the dryer core. Like I said, I was feeling a difference, but um, we're going to tell by the, the uh, pressure uh, when I check across it. Um, if that gave me a huge, huge, huge difference, then I might end up cleaning these TSVs out and then changing the dryer core, which ain't going to take long to do. Uh, just, you know, close off the liquid side, let it pump down, and then bleed rest off the rest of the pressure off. So, um, yeah, y'all can see the pressure drop, though. Most things are telltale. 
guys, this panel wasn't even on, but y'all can see the pressure drop on this uh, side also. Hopefully difficult to get in that tight behind area. But yeah, y'all can see the pressure drop on here. Like I said, cool, clear, fans running. Um, rack good, we got compressors running. Um, we had a ball floating. I think it goes up and down. Um, but sight glass is clear. Um, uh, kind of skeptical about my uh, core dryer. Still haven't checked that yet, but I'm finna pop these out. I already pumped the circuit down for this. So I'm finna go get a wrench out my truck because the other one I have is goddamn stripped, but yeah. All right, y'all, so I got the pressure bleeding off. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out before I walk all the way to my truck because I have brake cleaner and all that uh, just in case. I'd be surprised if these things are stopped up. It's gonna be a moment of truth. Uh, so we're gonna have to have a moment of silence Anyway, I'm finna go in and pop that one. Well guys, I'm not surprised. It's actually pretty darn clear. It got a little trash in there, as you can see. Um, but I'm gonna clean it out, but it ain't stopped up to where it's like restricting anything. But it's always good to check out your TSV just to be for sure. Um, We still got, I'm gonna clean her out still. Still got a little, but she, she clears day as y'all can see. All right, guys, so I checked across this dryer. I'm getting 130, same across. Uh, TSB is some clean. Uh, right now I got three other circuits off on the liquid side to see if that make any difference on uh, temperature wise. Make sure I ain't low on gas. All right, guys, everything you seen to check out at the rack. We got one ball floating um, across our dryer core. We got the same pressure. Um, what else? We got enough pressure going to uh, the rack radar core, fans running, core clear. Um, what else? Hmm. Anyway, I closed off two circuits, or maybe three, it still ain't made no difference. Uh, I, I believe so, uh, that the door had been opened up for a good period of time, because as soon as you open up this door, that gauge raised up quick, and that air just escaped out so quick. Um, right now, it's uh, dropping at zero, but right now, I'm checking my box temp inside. I'm checking a discharge air temp. If it's in the negatives and stuff, I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, I don't see anything uh, crazy right about now. Um, but <clears throat> the high temp alarm is like 15 degrees. So <clears throat> just imagine if the door just being left open and all that due to like, you know, the folks have to come in and out. Uh, I was kind of uh, worried about my sensor, um, but I'm uh let it pass so uh, it seemed like it's reading um accurately but we're going to see <clears throat> but i also think <clears throat> yeah she's about zero but as you can see i'm checking the discharge air temp <clears throat> right about now but I wanna think these boxes are an issue too. Just the up against the coil. I mean, you're not really gonna get that air circulating on that back side of the coil either. I don't know, I think that's just stacked up too high for me. Y'all let me know y'all opinion. I think it's stacked up too high. <clears throat> but it feel cold as free in here. Man, it's reading for I just opened up the door. 
three to four, but I just opened up the door and all that. But I'm gonna let it roll and stuff. Um, and I'm gonna go about <clears throat> TXV was kind of kind of dirty, but it wasn't dirty. You can still see through it, which is um amazing and all that to me. Um, <clears throat> but I think that that stuff right there issue right there. gotta be and having that door open because like i said as soon as you open up that door boy it's over that's why usually they have like uh door curtains and stuff or they have them uh door heaters and the door curtains um but i know sometimes that can uh interfere uh with the temperature too the door heater with the curtains i don't know if y'all seen any but it's basically a heater at the door. I heard those caused uh, some problems. Well, anyway, I'm gonna leave it as is. It's already late anyway, and it's cold. It's like really like freezing cold. But this need to come down. Sometimes stuff can be at a high temp due to boxes, product blowing airflow and stuff. I mean, I said blowing airflow, blocking airflow. Let's see what it do. I'm gonna go from there. What's up guys, I wanted to give y'all a recap. Uh, this was an emergency call on a grocery uh, storage freezer. Apparently, um, they said it was reading at 17 degrees, but when I got there, um, as y'all have seen the temperature, it was like below 10. Usually it's supposed to be reading around zero. Um, as you can see towards the end, I got it uh, towards zero. Uh, but what I'm thinking, what was uh, really the um, primary issue is having that door open, because the moment you have that door open, uh, the temp gauge is raising up and the temp off the sensor is raising up at, uh, at the controller itself too. And of course your fans are going to be off. Um, refrigeration is going to be canceled. Um, but everything checked out fine, like including my dry cores. I didn't have no filter dryers above the cooler or anywhere near. Uh, Check the TSV uh, screens. It was partially clogged, but I still cleaned them anyway. Um, what else? I mean, I turned off two circuits, you know, just to see if my pressure's uh, raise up. But that's just how it is on that um, particular rack because it's a uh, got a sub cooler on there. Um, I noticed when certain amount of cases go in defrost. Um, because it is hot gas, um, the pressure uh, tends to uh, go to 200. So it ranged between, I believe, 110 and 120 to 200, it goes. But the temperature still miraculously uh, comes down like it's supposed to. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I, I, me, I believe the door had just been open um, for a long period of time. Um, and then also just find the TXVs partially closed, so I'm glad we got that straightened. But um, I ain't getting no call back on it or anything. Um, so I mean, she doing fine, right? Running fine. Uh, if y'all made it this far, I hope y'all consider subscribing. Um, thank y'all. Uh, like the video, share it, and drop some input down below. Um, uh, let me know y'all approach. Um, me I always check the freezer and stuff first, and then I go out my rack. Um, but uh, don't go to any service call with tunnel vision. Always trying to have your uh, mind expanded because uh, just going in there, tunnel vision, um, you're not going to solve other issues um, that can uh, be part of the problem. So um, that's pretty much it.